Everybody tries to dress their best for the Emmys, but there are always a few bizarre fashion moments on the red carpet. Joining us for a look at the good, the bad, the ugly, style expert Katrina Zisch. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Let's first start with Blake Lively. I thought Blake looked absolutely gorgeous. She's in the spotlight for being on Gossip Girl, and she's certainly in the spotlight for wearing this gorgeous Versace gown. Yes, it was sexy. Yes, she showed a lot of skin, but she really brought some fresh energy to the carpet. I love this Grecian goddess hair. I think she really brought the wow to the red carpet mm. that we've missed for yeah. the past couple years. There you go. Another one, one that you really liked a lot was Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore tends to look costumey, but she really showed us how it can be done. This is Hollywood royalty. She dressed like Hollywood royalty. Her Monique Lulier rose gown complemented her skin tone. It was simple, not overdone with the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Big bravo to Drew. She's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Sandra O, oh, you liked a lot as well. Sandra O. Oh, never fails to impress. She was wearing a Marquesa gown. She looked like a gold statuette herself, but not in an extreme way. The encrusted strapless oh. with that interesting rope belt showed the fashion forward trend that Sandra always brings to the red carpet. And she, again, impressed as always. Yeah. One of the people that you really like, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, yes. is as beautiful inside as she is outside. She, she is a terrific is. person. And what I love about Julia, too, is in person, she's even more beautiful. Right. And in that Vera Wang gown with the sad it was simple, it was elegant, and she showed that no matter how much of a TV veteran you are, you can still make a huge Look at style that. statement. She's kind of bringing she it. She rocked it, didn't she? <laughs> she looked absolutely beautiful. That's terrific. All right, now the, it's kind of easy to do the wins. Yes, it now is. Now we get a little more complicated. I don't like this part, but sometimes right. you have to do it. All right, people that you would feel perhaps failed Missed to make. Missed the mark. Missed the mark, as they yes. say. All right, mm -hmm. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman reminded me, I felt like she was doing a comedy skit perhaps about this is the worst bridesmaid maze dress someone ever made me wear and I'm going to wear it on the red carpet. It was more comedy than couture and I think she's probably realizing it, seeing it here. It was just not flattering and I don't think What's there's much the more to say. What's the thing with things flying see, off the see, hips there? Exactly. It's like a crazy... It's just yeah. a big no. Okay, all right. <laughs> Patricia Arquette. Patricia Arquette wore the trends. She had the asymmetrical neckline. She had the big shoulder. I love the concept for her body. It just didn't work. All right, John Cryer. John Cryer, a big award winner of course, mm -hmm. but the vest, I don't know what was going on with that. No. Perhaps he was chilly. It was a warm night in L.A. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, prep school, back to school, didn't work. Right, with a little, Sorry, John kind of little uh, embellishments exactly. on the collar yes, as well. Yes, it reminded me of Ducky and Pretty in Pink. Uh, and okay. just, you know, All he's right. over that. All right, uh, risk takers, January Jones. Risk taking, I think, is an important category because these are dresses that you'll probably hear panned widely today. Uh -huh. I disagree. These are fashion-forward dresses. January Jones, architectural dress, looked gorgeous, had that daring shape at the hips, Futuristic. It was Versace. She pulled it off perfectly. All right. The other, another one of the uh, risk takers you like was Leighton Meester. Leighton Meester, another gossip girl wearing Bottega Veneta, puffs on the shoulder, an interpretation of the Grecian gown, the red clutch. She was young, fresh, modern, exactly how she should be. The last, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. I loved this deep burgundy color dress. It only went to her ankle. It was frothy. It was sort of a ballet-inspired look. Again, these are fashion-forward looks that deserve to be applauded. There you go. Katrina, as always, what a pleasure. Thank nice you, to see Harry. you. Thank you, too. For more on the Emmys, red carpet, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.